Hey, I'm Ken Hammond, and this is Hammer Talk. This year's NBA playoffs are wild. Did anyone think Atlanta would make it to the Final Four? So the teams so far are Cleveland, Atlanta, Golden State, and Houston. Now Cleveland with LeBron James are shoe in to win this series against Atlanta. At least you would think that. The Atlanta team that we've seen, they've been playing outstanding. And Golden State with Steph Curry, the MVP, our favorites against a battle-tested Houston squad. Now this Houston team, they've been playing lights out as well. The three-pointer has been the one thing that has taken them to the next step. Now these Rockets, 3-1 down against LA Clippers. Who would have thought that they would have came back and won this series? But they did, and they overcame so many obstacles. You know, it was, talk, talking about coming down to it, right? Just coming down to it, how exciting was that? He's dribbling it down. You know, you, fi you figure he's going to take it. He passes out. And you're like, oh, what's going on? He, and he gets the ball right back just to, you know, not get to get a shot off, which it was frustrating and it was uh, heartbreaking. But if you're going to put the ball in someone's hands, I mean, Harden, he was a MVP, uh, MVP run, you know, running for the MVP for a reason. And, you know, you have two of them on the court. Why not give it to the guy and let him make a play? But unfortunately, it didn't happen. It was heartbreaking, but we're going to bring it back, baby. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, no one thought the Rockets would be making this far. And so the fact that we're in the Western Conference Finals and lost two to Golden State, I think we can take the next two here in Houston and maybe even game five in Oakland. I think they need to get Howard not on his defense because he's already trying so hard and carrying the team on the offensive side. You need to give him a break so that he's not playing 100% the entire time. Maybe put somebody else on him, but either way, he needs to be covered the entire time. Right. There's no excuse for him ever to be left open because the second he does, the three. swoosh. Now let's talk about Tom Brady. Did he or did he not know the footballs were deflated? Come on now. Of course he did. Quarterbacks always check balls. Oh, okay, footballs. The NFL suspended Brady for four games for the 2015-16 season, and they fined the team $1 million. But will Brady win the appeal? Now look, when you got Goodell involved, who knows? He can go one way or the other. He's shown it. But I think one thing is true. Just like you suspended the guys and you made sure they were fined heavy for the New Orleans Saints, you have to do the same for the New England Patriots. They had to pay for what they did. And I think four games may be enough, but look, Tom Brady's guy that got paid a lot of money. So will four games affect him? It's more about the team. And I think it's gonna affect your team because that backup quarterback, how much playing time has he really seen? We'll see what type of team you see and if Brady will be suited up come the start of the season. So you, you feel like Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, they, I, I guess for lack of a better word, they cheated. Absolutely. Now, some would say that they just went above and beyond to, to accomplish a goal of winning a game. And so you, you would say that's, that's not the case. They knew what they were doing. They have a lot of evidence, the phone records. I mean, they're trying not to turn in their cell phones because they don't want more evidence. They knew exactly what they were doing. I mean, these people are professionals. They've been in the sport a long time. They knew they were cheating. Uh, whether or not that actually affected the game outcome, I'm not quite sure. But I do think that the penalty was a little steep. Astro fans, are you excited about what's going on with your team this year? I think management has a lot to do with it. Nolan Ryan has put a big change into this team. He's starting to see whatever the pieces that he's put together really make a difference. Now you got a big hitter like Atuve who's really doing a great job, but now you're starting to see the other guys come together and really show that they are big sticks. Now what's the difference? Off the field, on the field? Is it the management or is it just the players? I think everything coming together is really showing that this team is in a place and first place for a reason. I think, um, you know, the way they're playing, they're probably going to do really well uh, this year and probably go all the way, hopefully. Are you ready for some football? The Texans have many new faces. Will it be enough to take them to the playoffs and possibly win? Which quarterback will start? Mallet, Hoyer, look, Mallet has been in your camp and he knows what you want to get out of him. Now the guy Hoyer, look, you've seen what he can do. And right now, it's a little bit questionable. Will Clowney show why he was the number one pick last year? 
or will he be another year of injuries? Enough of that. And what about my guy, J.J. Watt? Will he be able to keep that level high, high enough for them to go beyond just making it to the playoffs? Uh, I think they're a great team. I mean, J.J. Watt, you know, the coach and the whole staff and everything, I think they're going to do really well this year. Hopefully they can, uh, you know, get through the playoffs and, uh, you know, get through the finals and maybe bring home a championship this year. Now look, I love talking about my topics. Of course, they're my topics. But I want to know what you want to talk about. Submit your suggestions via Twitter and Facebook. For next time, I'm Ken Hamlin, and you've just been nailed on Hammer Talk.